Alrighty guys, so uh, as you guys seen there, my camera died. Well, it's actually about an hour later. I just went and charged up my camera. Uh, went and did a few other things too. Um, so, figured, well, I gotta do a couple things. I might as well uh, finish, uh, maybe let my camera charge up a little bit. And uh, so my shop's unlocked and I got the lights on and everything still. I uh, knew I was going to be coming back, so because I wanted to finish my video there. Um, but yeah, I figured I'd just go play some Facebook games and uh, been given a, a pretty hard challenge. I've been pushing pretty hard for the last three days on that, and I'm not sure if I'll make it, but I should. Just for one stupid thing, but whatever. It's on a, it's on a Facebook game, so I'm not going to worry, worry about it, but uh, spent a lot of work on it. So. But yeah, so I've, if I can remember what we were talking about last, I think we were talking about the shop, a new one. Um, don't come in here, freak's sakes, you're such a whore, get out of here. <laughs> you're so annoying. But uh, yeah, so, it's just going to, uh, come here you. Oh, you didn't want to go in, I, I wanted this, I asked if you wanted to come in and you didn't want to come in. But now you want to be loved and you want to come in. Oops. So, whatever. Go to the house. Go to the house. Go. The doors are wide open. Even the windows wide open. So you know, <laughs> got three ways of getting in. So, but yeah. So, just thinking about uh, kind of would be nice to uh, have a new shop put on, and it would be heated, and uh, obviously it would actually have some real electricity in it. I mean, this year. The electricity that I'm getting now is kind of just a, I guess a homeowner deal you could deal with, or you, or you could say, you know, because it's just a big old extension cord running out here, and and I mean it gives me plenty of juice for what I need. I can run pretty heavy stuff off of it. I can't can't run a welder on it, but I sure in the hell can run my old air compressor off it and the lights lights flicker a little bit, but you know it's all on one big circuit too, so. I have a little bit of work for it. So, but yeah, like I was saying, I think it would be pretty good to have a fairly huge shop. Um, you know, that would go, obviously, out to here. And uh, I think the building would be about the same distance in. No, no actually, it would probably come out a little bit. Um, because uh, it will just be... I don't want it so much too much closer to the road because then you got the road plug guy that'll probably uh that'll probably end up burying the door, you know. So it's really gotta stay somewhat far away from the road. It could probably go another couple of feet I bet, but um but yeah, it would just be nice to, to have a whole new shop put on here, but would it really be worth it, you know, I don't know. I mean it would be nice, but but I do remember that the uh, the shops back, it was about three years ago, I think I was looking at uh, Future Steel, I think what they were called. Um, that was their buildings. Um, and I think one of their shops, it was a good sized shop. I'm not sure how like how big the door was. I think it would have been big enough for a 986. I'm not sure about the height, but it might have been okay. Um, <clears throat> it it I think it was originally like fifteen thousand dollars or something for it, but they had it no they had it knocked down to like almost nine grand because it was uh, even probably even less than that. I don't remember. I don't remember now because it was a couple years ago. But yeah, what do you see, Kitty? What do you see? I don't see anyone out here. You must just see a bird or something. I don't see nothing. Um, but I know that they were having. A pretty freaking damn good deal on a on a on a shop, um, and unfortunately, this was actually from Canada because I had clicked on the Canadian website. I didn't know that they had two versions of websites, one for America and one for Canada. Um, so I was talking to a Canadian guy. I didn't know about it, and 
But then I finally had realized halfway through it that, oh, fuck, I'm dealing with a Canadian guy. I was like, great, I'm probably going to be charged more now um, to have my building, you know, shipped across the border. And from what he said, it said that he said they wouldn't they wouldn't charge you anything for it. Um, it'd be the same as if it was just to come from here in the, in the U.S. So, um, but they were having a good deal on it though. So it really sucked. Well, it was last year's, like three years ago, it would have been the, the year before that. That was that you know it was their older buildings, and they were get they wanted to get rid of them because they wanted new ones. Um, they're getting new ones put in now, and I haven't ordered the book from them in a long time because the last time I did, um, they it required your phone number, like it it was they needed it, like there was you you could not order from them or request a catalog unless you gave them your phone number. Well, I gave them my phone number, then you know then a few weeks later, you know they're calling you. And then he said, and I said, well, I wasn't really thinking about buying a building, you know. I just wanted to get some information on it. And first of all, he was trying to talk, you know, trying to con you into investing in a building right then and there. And I'm like, dude, I can't do it. I'm thinking in the future, you know. That's why I'm ordering. That's why I like when companies give out catalogs for free. And they don't, de they don't demand, you know, your phone number so they can't harass you, you know. So... But they they wanted it, so wasn't really really liking that too much. Then he said that well maybe I'll call back in in about a year or something, and I think he did about a year later. Then he called, uh, and I still wasn't ready to invest in a building. So I think that's actually when the medical bills started rolling into just a little bit here and there. They started rolling in and started causing more problems. Um. So it would be nice to just put a whole new shop on here and be, and be done with it. This old shop here, I wouldn't destroy it because I think it's a it's a good shop still. I think what I would probably do is either take it to the farm and use it there, <clears throat> or I'll put it behind my new one. You know, like like use this for just for storage and for the snow plow, garden hoses miscellaneous junk you know like all this junk that i got laying in. obviously all this junk that you see in here now would stay in here i just i wouldn't be putting any machinery in here um i just put junk so it would be nice to have a new shop i don't know what they have for deals going on because i haven't heard anything lately um obviously because of the new year and i mean it was kind of a it's a new year now pretty much so maybe at the end of the fall They'll have sales on 2015 buildings instead of 2016. So, um, if they have one for you know priced correctly and if I can afford it, I may do it. But I don't know. I want a bigger shop. I mean, this shop you guys see it. It's a decent size. Uh, the thing is, is that I want a bigger shop. I really want something bigger. Um, and if I do an invest in one on here, I'm going to be later on in life, I'm going to be investing even in a bigger one for the farm because the farm is where most of the machinery will be worked on then. Um, the shop here would just be, you know, I mean, you'd still bring some machinery in here and work on it, or I'll end up using it to restore equipment like the farm LA. If I want to tear it down and repaint it, then. I'll have plenty of room to do it. I can't do it in this little shop um, to, you know, really have it, to really tear it down to the frame and restore it. I don't have all that kind of room. Even if I got rid of all this crap that's in here now, I still wouldn't have hardly any room. I would gain probably a good, about a good foot or two. That's about it on each side. I lose a foot or two, obviously, because you see all the junk. Obviously, there's junk. There's junk that takes up about a foot or two. You know, so you lose a little bit. If I didn't have all this crap in here, oh yeah, and if this wasn't up here, this shop would seem at least probably big. It, well, it would seem bigger. Um, it would it would look a lot better and it would be a lot bigger. So that's, you know, that'd be a plus there. 
But, I mean, this, this shop here does need some work. That's for sure. Uh, it does need some new uh, trim pieces. I was down there, they're rotted out. They're just completely gone. Um, I just filled them in with foam to stop any air leaks. A little bit of air and a little bit of water. Because um, obviously the door is not insulated either. So, um, if I was to buy a new shop, I wouldn't even bother putting money into the shop. I'd rather just invest it into my new one then. So, uh, and plus the concrete floor is all cracked. As you can tell, it's all cracked. I have a good probably two inch crack right, oh here it is, a two inch crack right here running through the air compressor, you can see that, that's about a two inch crack, and it's fairly, I mean you can, you can see the bottom of the concrete, so this is, they put some pretty, pretty thick concrete in here, but this, this concrete's been here so long that it's now, obviously with the frost and everything pushing up on it, that, that would happen with the new shop too, eventually that would crack too, so. Unless there's a new kind of a code now where concrete has to be 10 times thicker than even what this is. I don't know. I don't know what codes are for shops. So, um, maybe it needs to be thicker. Maybe it needs to be, um, well, I think the number, I think what would help is if they reinforced it with rebar. See, this concrete here, I don't, I don't think has rebar in it. That's why it's cracking so much. So maybe that's cold worth the new ones now that in concrete you have to have rebar in it to help reinforce it. So maybe that's what they maybe that's what's cold now. See obviously this shop doesn't have it because it's cracking pretty good. So um, <clears throat> of course if you took this shop off, this would have to get lifted off somehow. I suppose with a, with a couple of bobcats. Um, a, two bobcats could do it. Um, one probably could do it, but you'd have to reinforce one end of the building so you know, you wouldn't crack the big, the building, but they would probably have two bobcats move it. Or if they have a crane, they'd probably just pick it. They would, you know, tie it all together and pick it up with a crane and try to move it. Um, obviously, I'd just have them move it wherever it's not in the way for them. And then, <clears throat> you know, then they can just uh, pour their new foundation for the new shop and build on top of that. And, of course, you can buy those buildings and you can build them yourself. And, but I don't know if you can pay them extra and have them do it. I don't know. I never went that far into it and never asked them that question when I was talking to that guy from Canada. So, <clears throat> that's a little bit of something else I'd have to take a look at, too, and see. But, yeah, it would be nice to have a new shop. That's for sure. I wouldn't, I would love a new shop, you know. I don't need a high-tech fancy one, but I want something that's insulated, that can be heated, have its own electricity, can be air-conditioned, have a big, huge, massive door so I can get, you know, a big tractor in here if I have to. Um, you know, it has to have its own power. And then, you know, of course, and whatnot, I'd be putting, you know, security stuff around it too to make sure, make sure the doors lock, you know, real good and and whatnot and probably start putting security cameras on it too, you would have to. So, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so, that's what I would like to do. Now, the, the guy over there that lives by the cemetery, and his garage is about the same size, of the, uh, it might be a little bit bigger than this actually. It's a little bit bigger than this, but not by a lot. Um, it's definitely not much taller, it's a little bit, it's about the same as mine. Um, and he manages to do a lot of stuff in there. He's got a lot of tools and whatnot, you know, and he manages to fit in there, um, a couple of, well, he only fits in one vehicle, um, so, but there's, there's been a couple of vehicles there that he's completely repainted and, and rebuilt and whatnot, and he does that on his own free time, and, and that, and that's all he's ever done in that little, uh, that little, that little garage there. Um, it's not hooked to the house like mine is, but it's basically basically like this here. But it's insulated. He's got a heater, air conditioned, I think, and you know his tools. So it's a good. It'd probably be a good garage for sure. A good little workshop. Um, but in here, this shop's kind of useless because it doesn't have really a lot of things in it to keep it warm. There's no insulation. No insulation in it at all. Um, 
Well, this building was never probably really meant to be a shop. It was just mostly meant to hold junk. That's why they built it so cheap. But unfortunately, I'm trying to make it do stuff that's probably not meant to do, and that's why it's probably so wore out. Well, it was always wore out, but you know, with me going in here all the time, making videos, and opening the door all the time, that's probably going to wear it out. So, but yeah, I would definitely like to invest in a new shop. I'm definitely not denying that because it would definitely be nice. Because at least, you know, if I had a bigger shop, let's say this was the big shop. Like, we got a bigger one, right? And let's say the door was there, obviously. Um, I'd have, like this, I'm picturing my new shop, okay? Uh, and then probably the same thing at the farm, too, when I get a bigger shop there. Okay, so my big door would be there. Obviously, the walls would be further in or further away from the door. So I'd have workbenches, okay, with... You know, power outlets so I can run power tools, whatnot. Um, of course, it would be nice to have maybe like a paint booth, you know, for painting things. But I'm not probably gonna really bother with that. Um, well, for the big shop at the farm, I may want to do that because I may want to start spray painting some stuff. Um, so then the paint booth, you know, future thing, and then here maybe some more workbenches. Um, this workbench is like kind of like all the way around, and then obviously on this side would all be like this is where I would park all the equipment. Um, and then over here, they'd be obviously the workbenches, like I said, but then there would also be more equipment on the side. So there would be an open spot in the middle for things that are only going to be in there for a very short time. Like if my friend's big 986 was to come in into the picture. I can just bring it in here for the night, take it out in the morning, right? Or when he comes to start loading bales. Um, a vehicle. A car, you know, whatever. If it needs to come in here, it can get parked right in the middle. If it's going to be like a 15-minute job, it can be fixed and out of here. Whereas all the equipment on the sides would be basically machinery that are going to be used on the farm or, or whatever, you know. Or that are going to be worked on. So, and then obviously if you had a paint booth or whatever would be in there, you'd be painting it. So, that's the dream shop for at the farm. And that's basically what I want to do with the new one here. Minus the paint booth. Because um, I don't need one there. So, that's what I would just do with the new one. I'll just have workbenches all the way around it. Um, and whatnot. And what would be really nice too, is if uh, the shop at the farm... I don't think I need it, but maybe if I had like a, an office, then maybe with some storage above it, some kind of a small office, you know. I mean that's just dreaming talk, but I don't I don't think I really need an office down in you know in a shop, but um, <clears throat> just it would be nice to have storage, you know, for steel whatnot. But for this shop here, you know, if I were to put one here, I just have workbenches all the way around it. I'd park machinery. Um, I well, and over on this side, I'd put like the welder and the plasma cutter and all that stuff. So, um, so if you if you're standing here, this is what you'd basically see. You would see tractors all the way around it, or whatever. You would see the welder and the plasma cutter there. You know, that's basically. And of course, you'd see power tools wherever too, right? That's basically it. And then if we had the, the big shop at the farm, you would see a paint booth in that corner. But I'm not going to really probably do a paint booth. I'm not going to do one in the shop here in the yard if I was to get one. Because I'm not going to be getting into painting for a while. So, And if I do want to, I'm sure if I wanted if I wanted to do a paint booth, you know, <clears throat> you could always just either, I'm sure they would probably put one in for you. Um, or you can just turn maybe even this old shed right here that we're standing in right now. You could turn this into a paint booth. Just put some ventilation in it, you know, run your own, you know, your own power, or have an electrician run his power in here, and there's your paint booth, you know. So and obviously this shop would have to sit on new concrete as well. So they might as well just expand the concrete out. Then they can just throw this one on top. And of course, in the door that's here right now would actually face towards the house instead of as my neighbors because I mean, I'm not going to come be coming in and, in and out of that way and then here if the shop doors right here I want to put a driveway in 
but I'm not going to do it out of concrete or asphalt because the road plow would just scrape it all to shit. So I think maybe I just do gravel. I just do gravel. Um, some really maybe some really good gravel or something. Don't do sand because sand gets all mushy and just falls apart. So you got to use some kind of a rock <clears throat> um, to you know do that. So that's what I would do if I wanted to put a new shop on here. I mean, I already have my shop ideas planned out, so I know what I'm, what I want, what I want to do with them. Uh, the workbenches, well, you can buy them anywhere, basically, or you can make your own out of wood. I'd probably just buy them made out of steel. You can make your own out of steel as well. If you don't think that any of those are heavy duty enough, you can make your own and make them heavier. So, and if you do buy any, you can also reinforce them too. You just grind the paint off and weld on more steel if you have. Okay, so my camera died again. I figured it wouldn't last too long, but I'm, I'm basically done. You guys already know what I want to do. So, um, I guess I'm basically, basically done. I'm going to probably take off now and I guess go lose my other stuff. So, but anyways, guys, I guess uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy.